I come from a legacy uh, of like uh, food. Mm-hmm. So my dad's been running this Salims for now 1977. The place where you're sitting actually, he inherited this from my grandfather, which was, used to be a butcher shop. Mm-hmm. And then in 77 was the first time he set up the restaurant over here. And now of course we have six branches all over Delhi, NCR and like you know everyone. Comes, this is the one place where everyone. I love comes how this, how smooth this plug-in was. I mean, like of course. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you think we had to promote Tarla? No, I'm actually. You are here mistaken. To, you are mistaken. We have sell some kebabs. <laughs> if you take my name, you'll get fifty percent discount. Too. <laughs> Apply that coupon code. It's called Huma Tarla. No, but uh, in, as you mentioned, it was 1977 mm-hmm. when this was started. Yeah. And uh, Tarla ji launched her book in 1974. Yes. The era was same, the yeah, 70s. Pretty much. And uh, actually, Ashwini, uh, my, my producer, Ashwini Tiwari, she suggested, she's like, you know what, you guys should actually do this. And I spoke to dad, and my dad saw the trailer, and he was like, uh, he first called me and said, Hey, I love your trailer, I can't recognize you. And then he was like, Ki, ye batata musalam hai kya? Because there's a line in the trailer saying, I batata musalam hai kya? Right. So I explained, Ki, Papa, you started in 77 and then you started Salim, and she started her career in 74. But what Tarlaji stood for is diametrically the opposite of Salim's Mughalai food, which is she would take a murg musalam. And she would take out the chicken from it and put like batata, which is potato. Yeah. And, and it reached like a much wider audience. And he was like, hey, you know what? We have a lot of like people coming in who are vegetarians who normally have the paneer on the dal makhani and all of that. Yeah. Um, people like you. So, I mean, why not? I mean, we'll be catering to a much wider audience. audience. And now, batata musalam is very much part of our um, menu. And as your dad said, it was tough to recognize you in that trailer. Yes. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot went uh, into that other than prosthetics. Mm-hmm. Uh, Actually, there were no prosthetics. So that was really? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we wanted to do prosthetic, but it was just not turning out to be feasible because we were shooting last year in the summer. Mm. And all the cooking and the heat and like, and then he was like, you know, if we put our nose or we change It would face, melt. It would start melting. Mm. And then we would waste a lot of time on set. So what do we do? So he came up with this idea that why don't we do something with your teeth? Because her front two teeth were slightly bigger than mine. So we actually got two pieces made. One was the front two teeth, which was slightly more toothy, as they say. Mm. And the other was a larger piece that I would wear here on my upper jaw, which made this part of my face like kind of become slightly broader. Because mm-hmm. Tala Ma'am had like a heart-shaped face to get that effect. And when we did that, it just didn't look like me at all. And it looks like we've done a lot more work, but honestly it was that. And, and of course I play from 20 to 50. So in the latter part of her journey, like we just put another piece here. So this part of my face just kind of sagged. Hmm. So little hacks I'm telling you, <laughs> don't try it at home. 